Hello folks, it's the Siggy. Welcome to my latest video. What I'm doing today is I'm looking at um, update 17. It doesn't on the face of things seem that remarkable. However, there has been some significant changes under the bonnet, so to speak. The biggest of which is the game now works on Windows 10. Although, again, this is my Android account, as can be seen by my lower level. Um, it's always worth looking in the support sections to try and find out um, what the updates are, what they've taken into account. Um, if nothing else, you see the progression that Gameloft make. Um, and without going totally Gameloft is my best friend, um, I guess it is a bloody difficult task and probably quite thank, uh, thankless. You know, we only speak to them or about them when the game's going belly up. Yeah, there are still issues. And I really think there will be issues for a long time yet, if not forever. But anyway, let's have a, a, a quick look at update 17. Um, the easiest way to, to look at the logs is either to look on Gameloft forums and find the information there. Um, you can also go uh, via this way onto Gameloft Connect, click on the news, and we've got our details of the Global Conquest this week. Um, but here we go. Update 17, change logs. Now, most of us are aware that um, there's a lot of new units that are now called mech units. Um, they're just boss units. Um, I guess they're significantly stronger than the normal boss units. That's why we actually say so. Um, Okay, let's have a quick look here. Um, basically, the overall summary, you can read that there yourself, but I'm just going to do the old man stuff and read it out. It's now live on all platforms, and Windows 10 is now supported. Yay. Represent your nation with up to five new mechs. Uh, the next one, the Global Conquest receives a new gameplay feature with special units allowing you to score more points. Um, and last but not least, a new time-limited quest makes its way to the game and rewards you with a unit each time it's completed. More on that a little bit later. Um, again, the things that we don't necessarily see, it stabilizes the game a little bit more, you know, following the move to server side. I don't know about any of you guys, but this, just lately, from following update 16, um, things got really buggy, there was a major problem, there was crashes, there was synchronization issues, and Gameloft told us that a lot of it was because of the move to the server side. The advantage of it being there is changes can be uh, more easily implemented. Well, that's a theory. I must say that since I've um, had update 17, I've not experienced any crashes. Touch wood, or knock on wood, as you Americans say. Same deal. Um, let's just have a look through these change logs. These are the new mechs. And they are a very, they're a very high combined strength. You know, this particular one, 1,300 points. Uh, we're looking 12, 1,300 again. 13, 1,400? No, 1,300. A little bit lower. Um, but you've got units... Um, Underwater, ground units and air units. 
Um, now, with it being a boss unit, you can only fuse these to level two. Um, and to do so, you need to have the uh, boss unit fusion unlocked in the fusion center. You can apply um, power-ups to the level one boss units. But again, you need to have that um, boss unit fusion unlocked to do so. We've got a few more um, decorations and buildings that are going up, boosters. Some are outrageously expensive. Um, others seem okay. I've not seen that soccer stadium. I, I guess that's um, it generates money. Right, this time limited. Oops, a Daisy. Uh, this time limited quest. If you play the game three times or three days in a row. You unlock, to, uh, you unlock a special quest that appears over on the left. Um, there was a similar thing some time ago, I'm sure. Some of you correct me if I'm wrong, or even back it up and say, yeah, I remember that. So every now and again, instead of your normal campaigns, you'd get different quests that would appear. I think it's a revamp of that. However, uh, speaking to Gameloft, it won't become live for the next three or four weeks because of um, some issues with it. Basically what happens is when Gameloft produce an update, they test it expen uh, extensively on their side of things, but once it's released to the mass market, that's when the real problems come out. So on an update, I guess you really need to expect some teething issues. I don't suppose it was so much teething issues with update 16. It was more of a, a total false tooth issue, a false teeth issue. Um, within the conquest, um, there is a, a new feature that it said it was available for the last conquest, but it didn't come about. Um, there's attack or control point boosts that you can get on different units. Um, let's say hypothetically that it decides, or the game decides that the charger um, will give an attack boost. It takes into account however many you've got already. Let's imagine for a second you've got 50 charges already prepped it will give you um, a boost because you've got that many. If you haven't got any, you can buy it. The other fantastic thing is more and more anti-hacking measures. I guess there's always going to be somebody that's going to try and hack the game. Always. I mean, crikey, people want to get into into the Pentagon, into NASA, into... Yeah, okay, it shows great skill. But, uh, you know, my thoughts on hacking. You know, we're playing a game. I, I really don't get the mentality of hacking something so you can level up quicker, so you can... You know, that's like having a child and saying, right... Okay, I need a way to make this child 21. Mind you, for all you new mums and dads out there, there are times we think it jokingly, you know, tongue in cheek, when they're crying for a feed at four o'clock in the morning. As they get older, it changes. I've got teenagers now. Well, in their 20s, but they might as well be teenagers. Um, you still get them wanting to feed at four o'clock in the morning, but it's usually because they've had a belly full of alcohol and they're just coming in from a, a night out. But those that know, no. There's been a lot of um, other things um, fixed. A welcome return is the allies being lost. 
Um, I've lost dozens of allies. Um, Atlas upgrades, I've not had a problem with it, but my Atlas on Windows has been upgraded fully for a while. On, uh, on Android, it's uh, that's still the same slow progress. It's plumbing expensive. Um, hot topics. These are the things that they're still looking at. Um, there are still some synchronization issues. Um, attack and defense values. Now that's quite bizarre. When you check on your army's strength, and it will give a figure, hypothetically 2,000 um, attack, 2,000 defense. There's been a significant increase in instances where that defense has been, or that attack has been wiped out to virtually nothing. So it's about buildings on grass. Um, I, I don't know whether that's a hacking thing that somebody's done or whether it's buildings that are in the area that you haven't unlocked yet. I've no experience with that one. Attack and defense structures. I tell you, I'd really like, I would like some some boosters for underwater rather than the dross we've got. Um, donation, confirmation, pop up. Oh, that, yeah, that was, that was mentioned on the forum some time ago. I mean, that would be a fantastic thing. You donate a unit and those with a touch screen, whether you're playing on a tablet or a phone, the amount of times, you know, you're looking to donate a fantastic boss unit that you've fused and you end up clicking on a, a level one veteran as you're trying to scroll across. I think the mentality is, you know, you click on your donation. Do you want to donate this level one veteran? Uh, and there should either be a, I don't bloody think so. Or are you serious? So you've got two choices there. Giving you the opportunity to slide over and put the most powerful unit in that you can so that you can actually be a faction player. But there we go, that's um, that's the updates. It's not so much of a pretty screen, but you do have my lovely voice. Well, I think it is because I speak so much. So there we have it, that's um, what appears to be update 17. A lot of work seems to have gone into it. Um, not all of it visual. But I suppose that's the same pressure they face all the time. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. You've been watching The Siggy.